say it's ours and it's not theirs it's, it's a it's a perfect give and take where the more they're supportive the more passion the more they kind of spread the word on social media the more people kind of say oh I saw people tweeting about this they look into the show the more they draw just as much attention to the show as we do so to see that and have a fandom that's so passionate and a fandom that cares about us and a fandom that wants us to grow and change and wants to watch all of us grow and change it's just they're very outspoken you know yeah. that they feel it's amazing. Right. They want it to be right. And I think that, that, that's nice. We need people, the new, the new generation needs to be able to get a stand up for what's wrong and fight for what's right. And I feel that we have a good family support. Yeah, it's been awesome. Um, each of your characters are kind of just heartbreak and lots of crap out, kind of, but trying to figure that out. Um, has not been easy. What is the come for both of you for the rest of the season? Well, um, after the addiction problem with Isabella, you know, she's like kind of made a straight back. She is uh, becoming a new version of herself, you know, I feel. And um, she thinks to also Simon's help. You know, she's been truly getting back from her. <laughs> and because uh, he always says that. It was, yeah, it was kind of cool we found that. Thing. It's actually what we're doing. It's like with any great relationship, they have a solid friendship that's built. And then from there, they can really explore what the options are. So I think that's, that's where Sissy is right now. It's this beautiful friendship that's growing. Really supportive. So, um, can fans expect kind of like a slow down into the end game? Absolutely. Yeah, we don't there's going to be uh, uh, there's going to be other people. Izzy uh, shows up. He's Mr. Uh, Mr. Playboy over here. I don't know what you're talking about. Tommy's very. <laughs> <laughs> he, does, he does seem that way. Like, yeah, look at him. He's definitely like. He's like yeah. But um, the rest of the season is the, the shadow will goes through a lot. And you'll see both Izzy and Simon kind of find find out where their places and what they can do to actively support it. You know, with, 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 I mean, the next few episodes are going to be uh, going to be a roller coaster. What was it like working with uh, Sarah Highland as the healing team? She's awesome. Um, like like we said, like everyone on set loved her. Uh, we were talking about how in the last table over there. We talked about how every actor that comes on the show, we already have a set vibe, we already have a vibe of how we work together and how the rest of us. So whenever someone comes in that's new, it's how, are, how is their energy going to work with us? Is it going to is it going to clash at all? No, she just, she fit right in, super supportive, and then someone that's done as much work as her. It's cool to see how, how much ease she has with her craft and how, how like, not professional, but like professional is a word for it. For me, it was just amazing to see your work. And be like, oh, you're so cool, and it's it's so much a part of what. You, I mean, for me, there are days where I still come to set and I feel very nervous, and I feel like she. Everyone still has those days, but I think the more the more you do, the less those days happen. And, and it was cool to see someone that was very grounded in in their work. Do you have any scenes with her? <laughs> I can't spoil a lot. <laughs> Let's just say I don't have any scenes with Valentine. You got an awesome scene with Valentine. Uh, trust in the breaking of trust is a really big thing that we've noticed over the course of this So who would you say is the most trustworthy character on the show? I think Simon. Um, for Simon? I would say, looking out, there are, there are a few people that he's always been able to trust, and that's been like Luke. But if you really think about it, Luke can maybe like help you out. 
but he, he might tell someone to like help you out. You don't think so? Like, you he'll keep a secret? No, that's true. Like, I don't know. He might be like, hey, this kid's having this problem, you should, you should do that. Might no, I don't know, I don't know. Is that what you mean? I don't know. I trust really, I guess Simon's very trustworthy, but then they're all learning about themselves. Like Simon just found out that there's still a very active monster living inside of him, and he has to kind of deal with that. So whether or not he trusts himself is a big question, so I don't know if Simon would say this is just trustworthy. Great. Thank you. Thank you.